suffering from kidney stones, learn how to prevent them in just 6 easy steps with the kidney stones diet. In this video, why calcium is important, why you should avoid oxalate, and what foods are more likely to cause kidney stones. Hello, this is Catherine. Welcome to Double O Kidney. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I want to start this video with a bad news and a good news. If you suffer from kidney stones, studies state that you are missing some specific chemicals needed to prevent them. And that's the bad news. But the good news is that you just need to modify your diet and some of your habits to prevent kidney stones. Let's get started! Step 1. Avoid oxalate-rich foods. Why is rhubarb dangerous for your health? Foods rich in oxalate, like for example rhubarb, spinach, baked potatoes, are really common and, in many cases, are suggested for a balanced diet. Unfortunately, these foods can be really dangerous for the health of a particular kind of people. Those suffering from kidney stones. The most common type of kidney stone, calcium oxalate stone, is more likely to happen when our diet is rich in oxalate. What to do then? If you are prone to calcium oxalate kidney stones, try to stay away from oxalate rich foods. Those include rhubarb, spinach, baked potatoes, sweet potatoes, miso soup, beets, okra, bran cereals, french fries, stevia sweeteners, cocoa powder and chocolate, almonds, cashews, grits, raspberries. The human urinary tract is not supposed to expel solid matter. Kidney stones are so painful for this reason. Step 2. Never be dehydrated. Kidney stones are formed from the substances diluted in the urine. Increasing your urine output is the way to go if you want to prevent the formation of the stones. Ideally, you should aim to drink at least 8 cups and up to 16 cups of water a day. If you drink 16 cups, you will need about 9 bathroom trips in 24 hours. It's a lot, but still better than a trip to the ER. If you live in a very hot area or exercise regularly, you should drink even more. Remember that it only takes being dehydrated for so much to start developing a kidney stone. My advice? Other than drinking at regular intervals, you can drink lemonade without sugar instead of water. Citrate present in lemon can help preventing the formation of the stones. Step 3. Get enough calcium. Calcium oxalate stones are the most common type of kidney stones, amounting to 70-80% of the total. To prevent them, your best bet will be to get a good quantity of calcium. Wait, what? If stones are formed from calcium and oxalate, why should I want to get more calcium? When calcium is assimilated from foods, it will bind with oxalate in the intestines and expelled right away with the feces. But if oxalate is ingested and there's not enough calcium in the foods to bind it, the body will take calcium from the bones. This will not just damage your bones, but is also a major cause of kidney stones. Foods rich in calcium suitable for a kidney stones diet include kale, broccoli, raw okra, bok choy, watercress, and almonds. My advice is to get calcium from foods and not from supplements. There is a correlation between calcium supplements and kidney stones. What you can supplement is vitamin D. It helps absorbing calcium. Step 4. Reduce sodium intake. To reduce sodium intake is usually one of the first advice nutritionists all over the world give their patients. 
It's not just useful to reduce water retention, blood pressure, and the incidence of cardiovascular disease. It is also really beneficial for the kidney health and to reduce the chance of kidney stones. Excess of sodium can increase the amount of calcium in the urine, with the chance of causing kidney stones. Statistics say that Americans eat about 3,500 mg of sodium per day. Reducing this quantity to half or less has been proven immensely helpful. What I will do is to start removing processed foods and packaged foods. They always contain an unhealthy amount of salt. And obviously, reduce or avoid altogether the use of table salt. Step 5. Limit animal protein. Limiting the consumption of foods like red meat, fish, eggs, poultry, and cheese can be really beneficial since it lowers the chance of most types of stone. A high protein diet is a cause of high levels of uric acid and limits the level of citrate, and both conditions can cause kidney stones. My advice, try to limit your daily intake of animal proteins to no more than a half portion. Step 6. Know your stones. Knowing what type of kidney stones you have is really helpful treating them. There are several types of kidney stones and the most common are calcium stones. Calcium can bind with oxalate or phosphorus to form stones. Another type of stone is uric acid the stones. About 10 to 15% of patients are reporting them. Uric acid is formed during the normal metabolism of protein. An excessive quantity of this acid in the urine can bind to form a stone. Reducing the amount of animal protein ingested is very useful if you suffer from this particular type of stones. Struvite stones are formed after an infection of the urinary tract. Diet is not effective to treat them, and you will need a diagnosis and a treatment from a specialized doctor to treat them. Other, less common, types of stone include the cysteine stones caused by cystinuria. In any case, I always recommend it to get checked as soon as possible and to get medical help in presence of symptoms like blood in the urine or pain too harsh to sit or lay down. This is all for today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Feel free to ask any question in comment section or in our blog newhopeforkidneypatients.com. Thank you for watching.